Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now what we're going to do today is set up our 10 by 10 grid. This is the same grid that we set up a few years ago when we learned how to do the 10 by 10 multiplication table, right? And since we had set up this grid, what we ended up doing is learning a 10 by 10 pattern recognition game that I learned from a student, okay? Now the technique that we use to set up this grid, we have a video out just specifically talking about how to set up this grid, which is basically using Pythagorean and right angle triangles, right? So if you wanna know how we're going to go about this, in more detail because I'm going to walk you through it but if you want to know a little bit more about it how how I use this technique uh, during my life as a geophysicist to set up square grids so we could have accurate positioning of all the data and stuff like this you can take a look at that original video and what we ended up doing I believe last year anyway was we actually set up the grid again and um, what we ended up doing we ended up uh, uh, doing some live streaming of playing this 10 by 10 math puzzle recognition game right and that's the reason why we're setting up the grid now because on twitch we're about to sort of go on a three-day binge or three sessions three days in a row a couple of hours each two or three hours each maybe uh, of playing the 10 by 10 um, game that we've learned right a pattern recognition game that we've learned so i do need to set up the grid and uh, the odds are what we're going to do is i might keep this grid up on the wall for a few months and we might come back to play this game on a more regular basis live streaming it and what i'm specifically going to do for the videos that we're going to load on youtube is basically there's a few different techniques at least three different techniques that we've sort of gone through doing the live streams of how to solve this puzzle one of them is working from the outside in another one is working from the inside out and another technique that we used was solving the puzzle using the quadrant method right trying to get all the squares filled up in one quadrant and then moving up to the next quadrant next quadrant next quadrant right so maybe we'll end up sort of uh, during the live streams i'll end up trying to record a session where we're doing each different technique now i can't guarantee that we're going to solve this puzzle get to 100 but fingers crossed hopefully one of those videos will end up solving the puzzle right if it's not going to be one of the videos we end up recording hopefully during the live stream with the help of everybody sort of telling us where to go position our numbers uh we'll end up completing the puzzle at least once we got our fingers crossed we got to 99 i think the best we did in the last live stream set okay so again if you want to know what we're about to do how we're going to go about it i'll walk you through it but basically it's uh using pythagorean right angle triangles to set up a square grid and we'll go into a lot of detail in this um, how to set up this grid in the original video and the previous live stream video I walked everyone through how we go about doing this so we might go through this a little bit a little bit more rapidly okay now first thing we need to do is we're gonna lay out our tape and I'm using I don't want to bought some more extra green tape painters tape to do this right uh, but we do have a little bit left from the previous session so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set it up where we're gonna have our horizontal first, right? The top horizontal first, because that's where we've started off previously whenever we've been setting up this grid. And we, I ended up setting up this grid one more time uh, when we did a video for personal finance for taking a look at a return on investment with US dollars versus Canadian dollars versus Bitcoin over a certain period of time, right? So I have used this wall so far well, on this one, I think three times we've done it where we set up the grid. Um, so there is a few marks here. So I know approximately where this is going to go. Okay, so we're gonna set this up and then we're gonna measure it and cut it to scale. Okay. So this guy goes approximately here. So let's line this up. Sure, 
Now that looks fairly on the little screen that I can see. It looks fairly straight. However, what I'm going to do is I got my level here, right? So I'm going to level this guy up. Just make sure it's okay. So that's fine. However, just on the screen, let's take a look. Because this is what I end up doing usually uh, when I'm setting up these grids. I try to make sure it's as clean as possible, straight line. And I might not be a perfect straight line. So I'm going to lift this up. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tick and I'm gonna measure the distance and put it in our 10 centimeter uh, marks, right? And I'm gonna do this with a pencil. We'll see if the pencil comes out okay. If not, I got a little permanent marker there that we might end up using. And I wanna make sure that this is, you see this all the way here. And this guy is gonna go here. That's our marker for the label. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back a little bit and I'm gonna put my mark here. Is that coming out? No, I'm gonna use the felt marker. Okay. That way we don't miss the miss the marks. So we're gonna put our felt marker here. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna measure out a meter and put a mark every 10 centimeters because that's our column and row distance that we have so let's do this So that's 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Perfect. I'm going to go here. That's 10. And I'm going to take it out 10 centimeters on either side. That way we can put our labels in, right? So let's put this guy here to 10 centimeters. Okay, cool. So we got that set up. Now what I need to do is grab our um, tax, the large tax that we have with rope and put little ticks on the, on the 10 centimeter markings. Okay, so let me go grab my tax. Now here's the big tax that we're gonna end up using. Forgot to put them beside me in our workspace, right? Go grab them. Now these are the big tax that we've been using, right? And these are the tax that we ended up using for the financial, uh, personal finance video. We took a look at return on investment with US dollars, Canadian dollars versus Bitcoin and stuff like this, right? And what I've ended up doing is putting a lot of holes in the in the wall with this because these are pretty thick right so just a reminder to myself I gotta go get myself some little tacks that we can end up using to do this again right and I got some hemp rope here okay so I'm gonna make a little 
We had a bit of hook on here, but before I do that, I want to cut off a long enough piece to give us what we need. Okay, so let's bring this out. That should be good enough. And we're going to need two pieces of rope as well, right? So here's one. I'm going to cut off another one as well. Because we're going to have to mark up two, two ropes. And if you're doing this in the field, you need two tape measures to be able to do this. Or one tape measure and a rope where you can mark off the appropriate lengths, right? To make yourself a Pythagorean right angle triangle. So let's put a little hook on here, and this will be our zero point, right? On one of our ropes. Make it tight enough. Right. Okay. And what we're going to do Yes, I'm just going to move our leveler, level here, this guy. It's a nice level, I like this level. I've had it for a very, very long time. It's got little handles on it, right? Where you can grip. It's good. So, let's put this at zero point. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my felt marker, permanent marker, I'm going to put a little, I'm going to make the, the string, put markers on the string, that way we got our 10 centimeter marks on there, okay. So here it is, okay, let's do this, 10. See it better. they're on there well enough so we see them okay that's one let's put our next one on here too make our next rope put the markers on there let's make this one green tack I guess the other one was purple so let's just put, tie this on. Again, we're just gonna tie this sucker on. Come in. I usually put two on there. One's, one is sufficient, but two is just, you don't accidentally make a mistake, pull too tight and it loosens up, gives you a little slack too much, and everything's offline, right? Let's put that guy there. And bring our marker. Let's do this again. Fifty, 
60. With the Pythagorean right angle triangle, all we need to do now is we have our one meter every 10 centimeters marked off. We got our one meter every 10 centimeters marked off. And with the Pythagorean right angle triangle, there are whole numbers basically where you can make a perfect right angle triangle. Three, four, five is one. 30, 40, 50 is another multiples of 10, right? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here and we're gonna grab a pencil to mark the mark the wall I don't want to I don't want to make it with a permanent marker right so this is our zero zero point for a grid reference anyway right then the naming of the uh, of the axes we're going to do differently we're going to put numbers vertically this way and letters horizontally right that way we know the movement types for the game but for now, to set up the grid, that's our zero, zero. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, oops, 40 centimeters this way. Don't step on your string. Right? But the beauty of it is, once you put a hole into it, if that thing pops out, you just put it in. Right? So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40 this way. Okay. I'm going to try to make sure, because over here, I'm in the center of the tape. So I'm going to try to make sure I'm in the center of the tape here. I'm going to assume this is my baseline and it's horizontal is perfect. Okay. So we're going to go to center here. Because if we don't go center, if that tack over there, we put in the bottom of this tape, and this tack we put up top, then if we're measuring vertically, the vertical distances are going to be off compared to the vertical distances there, right? Because there's going to be this much gap error in the measurement, and I don't want that. So I'm going right in the center of the tape, right? So we went 40 here, 10, 20, 30, 40, and we can go 30 this way, and the distance, the hypotenuse, is going to be 50, okay? So we're going to go 10, 20, 30 here and this should be from here 50 10 20 30 40 and where is our 50 oh there's our 50 50 and i'm not going to pull too tight i'm going to make sure the pull i have on both strings is equivalent so that way this one's not stressed too far compared to the other one right so this is going to be right here put a little tick here okay that's hopefully i was off board but the tick is okay now because i want to make sure i have more points than just two to create a straight line i want to make sure everything's lining up and that gives me better air control right i'm going to do another right angle pythagorean right angle triangle we basically did three four five right so any multiples of that will work if you want to set up a square grid converting it to centimeters that was 30 40 30 40 50 pythagorean theorem now we're going to do a multiple of that. So we're going to go 60, 80, and that'll be 100 for the hypotenuse, okay? So I'm going to come up to 80 here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm going to put my tack here, right in the middle of the tape, okay? And then the full length of the measurement that we did, which is one meter, 100 centimeters, should go down to 60 here, okay? So we got 30, 40, 50, and 60. 
and this should be 100 right here Now what you need to do whenever you're doing this, in the beginning, when you're setting up your baselines, the horizontal and the vertical, make sure you take time, you double check, okay? So this looks to be good, okay? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well to make it horizontal, but one thing I can do to make sure it's a square grid, so we can do the same thing here, but because I have that lined up, I have a tick here, and I have a tick here, so all I really need to do is go down to a meter down here and just put a tick in it, and then we can set up our square grid by going one meter this way and one meter this way, and wherever these guys connect is our square, right? So let's do this for now. Make sure we've got this set up. So what I'm doing right now is stretching my string or not stretching it but holding it tight so it's vertical right and i'm making sure that the string goes over the first tick we had and the second tick we had that means it's in a straight line and then all i have to do really is just put a little mark here and that is the mark that we have here are we still on hopefully we're still on if not i'm going to adjust the camera a little bit okay so that puts us right there with the bottom line okay so since we've done that let's move this guy and move this guy put this guy here and this one we're going to take out to a meter Put it in the center and lining these guys up let's make sure we do this correctly take our time with it right lining these guys up this should be one meter this should be a square grid right there okay and what i'm going to do right now is put some ticks here 10 20 30 i'm going to put the 30 mark here and i'm going to put 40 50 60 oh yeah 60 mark right there okay 30 and 60 and what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this guy and i'm just going to double check to make sure we're in the right location right so if we do this as a zero, zero, I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40 here. And then if we go down 30, which I've already got marked, coming out this way, this should be 50, which it is, right? It lines up. So I know it's a square grid, perfect, okay? Now really all I have to do is just use gravity. to set up our vertical, because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up our vertical columns first. So I'm gonna set this up right in the center. Make sure we're in the center. I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra. Okay. And this should line up vertically, making sure that the bottom guy doesn't create the friction and that lines up pretty well. Okay. Hopefully it's a vertical line. Should we put our, our, our glasses just to make sure? Let's do this. This is vertical. It 
should be. The camera might be a little off too, but let's do this. Locked a little off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line this up with the center here. This one's a little off. Let's check it out. How's that look? Gotta step back on this. Well, we're gonna put that in right now. And then I'm going to put the bottom and the top. And I think for the bottom, the bottom's not showing. So I'm going to have to adjust the camera a little bit. Okay. So let's cut this off. Let's put this end in as well. Okay. We're going to give it a little lean way. Oop. Come here we go. So let's do a little cut here. Okay. I might have to adjust this line, but I'm gonna put the baseline in and we're gonna see where it takes us. So before we do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in our 10 centimeter markings down this side. Okay, so we have those in. to see where it takes me yeah actually that's good perfect okay nice so let's move this guy here actually we're gonna need that guy later well soon now what I need I need to put this guy give it a little bit of lean way goes through there and I need to go through And cut this. Let's see. Do you see the bottom? You don't see the bottom. Now we're going to do an adjustment, which is something I basically end up doing every time I set up this grid. Hopefully, there's not too much motion the way I do it now. Let's check it out. There's the bottom. There's the top. I should have put on my glasses. I gotta put on my glasses before I do this any further. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not gonna make you guys seasick. Let's check it out. That's not bad, right? 
it. So I just need to do a little adjustment here. set up properly I think the camera with the camera work for the live stream sessions but it looks okay looks good so what I need to do right now is put in the 10 centimeter markings on this side 10 centimeter markings on that side and then from there we're just gonna go straight across All right so we're gonna bring our little marker again our string that we have and we're gonna put this and we're gonna put our little tick marks so we're gonna go 10 20 there's our 30 30 40 50 60 70, 80, 90, and we already got our 100. Perfect. And I do need the ticks at the bottom as well. I don't, you know, it's not necessary completely because what you can do is just use gravity to line up the tape, right? Just let it go doop doop and then, you know, squish it down. But it's better to put it in just to make sure the tape's not snagging anywhere, right? So let's put these in too. 2, 10, 20, 30, 40. Where's our 50? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And we already got our 100, which is perfect. Cool. Now we're done with the tapes and we're done with the Sharpie. And what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna put the verticals in first. I think I bought way too much, uh, <laughs> too much tape. <laughs> but we might end up using it a lot more later, right? Putting our grids up again, taking it down, putting it up, taking it down, putting it up. So all we gotta do is just make sure we're lined up in the center here with the tape is not bad and just let this sort of hang like gravity straightened out and it goes over our mark which is perfect which is what we want and then we can just go whoop make it flush now in the bottom I'm not going to put any labels in right so the bottom guy I can make it flush Let's do the next one. You know what I'm gonna do? Might as well, if we're doing this right now, might as well make them flush and look neat, right? So let's do this. Okay. And this is 10 centimeters. done that so we make this flush as well let's see okay we're gonna put our stickies on here so let's see if it's make sure that this is gonna fit and that's gonna be a so this Again, I might have to do a little adjustment with the camera just to make sure everything's in frame once we set up the grid. So that's going to be A. 
Let's see if it's going to show. If we set that up, it has. Oh, the need for glasses, the need for glasses. Yeah, we do see it. I might adjust a little bit higher. Should we do this? No, we'll leave it alone because what we're going to do, I'm going to have to move this camera as well. So that looks okay. We can definitely make it fit. So that's good. We can definitely bring it down, extend it, right? Hey. Okay. Now, actually, I need to trim the top of that guy off a little bit more. So let me trim the top of that guy off a little bit more. You guys can't see it because it's above camera. It's not showing in the... Might as well make it look nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tape across here. That way I cut everything flush to that. to where we have the tick mark. the tape, make it stick, cut it flush. Okay, not bad. Center. Go like this. Center the dot. Let it dangle. Center it on the dots. Run your finger down. Cut it flush. And once you set up your base lines, right, putting in the grid markers, the columns and the rows goes really rapidly. And that's the way it usually works when you set up do surveys, grading, and stuff like this. You take a lot of time to set up the baselines, and then the rest of it just goes. Let it 
thing off. more vertical column verticals to do so we're gonna center the dots one more vertical line there and one more vertical line here that way when we leave the room, room to put the markers the labels on the axes uh, they're all, they'll be approximately same length right try to make this symmetrical as possible so I'm just gonna do this oh, all I'm gonna do is just let it thing because I haven't really measured this I'm gonna go like that. Perfect. And we'll get one more here before we start putting the horizontals in, right? So we're gonna go here and just let it dangle. This one doesn't matter where we cut it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the horizontals in. Now I could put a little marker in the middle just to make sure because when you're doing the verticals it's easy. You can just let the tape hang, dangle on the straight. Doing the horizontal because this is sort of loose it becomes a little bit trickier to make sure it's a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little marker with the tape that we've got in the center. That way no one's not dangling too much. All right, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm just gonna put little markers in. Does that come out okay? Sure, I can see that. I don't think you guys will be able to see it. Actually, let's do it in a way where you guys can see them as well, all right? Dark enough anyway. So we got one there. We got one here. We got one here. So that was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and we already got our 100 there, right? So let's do that. Bring our tape. And let's line these up. Look at this one. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more. Okay. So we gotta make sure we're going through the center here. That's the center. Now we're gonna go through the center here. That's the center. And we're gonna hit the center here. That's the center. And then we're gonna come all the way here and we're gonna cut it flush. should be a nice horizontal line let's do the same make sure we're going through the center here all right go through the center go through the center here with the dots oh, that's not there center here 
And we're going to go through the center here. And I'm going to cut this flush. All right. Now let's take a look at this. That one, that one. That's good. This part might be a little bigger gap, but that's okay. I'm not going to mess around with minors fluctuations center center and center okay cut that flush go across one day we'll paint this up permanent on the wall Center. 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 And cut it flush. supply nice Yes. Cut this guy. Because we don't need that. 
And I'm going to extend this guy. Let's do this properly. Actually, let's cut this and then we extend it. Cut it flush. And cut it flush. Okay. So what I need to do now is clean it up. Right? Because we've got our grid set. So I'm gonna take this guy down. Because that's where our labels go for the axes. I'm going to cut these guys up here. Unfortunately, you can't see that because it's not in your view, the top of it. But for the games, we'll make sure that we got the full screen on here okay that's that so let's take this guy down so that's basically what the same thing i had on this side right keeping the top right i could definitely do an adjustment right now to make it show it to you guys and then I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut these ones flush as well All right so I'm gonna go do is I might as well put the labels on there because our movement types are going to be like based on horizontal horizontal and vertical marks right so we're going to go one bunch of new pens right this is where i got a thicker marker so let's see what the thicker marker looks like let's see which one we like better let's make this one make sure this is pointing in the right way yeah so we're gonna make this one too oh yeah this is much better much much better so we're gonna make this one too Make sure 
we go anywhere. Five. Oops. That's not how you write five. Five. There's our five. Let's write down six as well. Six. Let's write down seven as well. This thing flipping every time is. I mean, if you take a look at this, it flips every time these stickies. I don't like them. I like them pointing the same way. I have to rewrite five again. Six, seven. these guys up and then we'll do the other side and the top as well right. so here's 10 9 8 7 here's 5 and 6 Here's our six. Right. That's perfect. Let's do the top, A, B, C, D. Let's take the, this A down, too thin. Let's put a thicker A in there. That's better. There's A. B. Is that coming up for you guys? C. D. E. have to sing my alphabet to be able to do it properly a b c d e f g h i forgot the i a b c d e F G H I J. There is J. And we gotta do an I. And we gotta do an I. Right? Here's I. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put numbers on the other side as well to make it easier for people referencing for us to have the movement types, right? So let's put the other side in as well. So we have one, two, three, four, 
four. Our 10 by 10 grid, right? Just a smidgen up. Should we do it? Let me do a little adjustment here. Gentle, 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 gentle. We can go all the way here. And I'm pretty sure that's. This is the grid we're going to use to play our 10 by 10 puzzle and quick instruction of how to play if you're interested we're going to be doing this on twitch we've got three days set up live streaming playing this game and the odds are we're gonna keep this grid up here and uh, play this on a regular basis and if we take it down we'll put it up again okay but basically the name of the game is this there's 100 squares here right we start off with the number one and based on two different movement types we want to fill up this grid from number one to 100 so we can decide to put number one anywhere right anywhere we want let's say we put it here Our next movement, if we're moving vertically or horizontally, has to be two squares away, right? Two square gap between them, so it has to be the third square, right? So from here, we could go one, two, three, put the two here. One, two, three, put the two there, right? Put it here. I'm gonna put this down so I don't mark up the wall accidentally. Put it here, put the two here, or put the two here, right? Vertical or horizontal movements, two square gap between them, so three squares away. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's assume we're gonna put the two here, right? So we go two. The next number is three. We didn't take these ones. We can only put one number down at a time, right? The number two, let's assume if we're gonna vertical or horizontal, vertically we could go here. That could be three, or that could be three, right? We can't go back to one because it's already filled up. So once the square is filled up, you can't fill it, put another number there. So we can't put a three there. And we can't go this way because we're end of the grid. We have to stay within the grid, right? So we could go vertically here only with the number three here or here, or we go horizontally, or sorry, diagonally, right? Diagonally, you have to be two squares away from the previous number. So we have to put down the number three. Diagonally, we can go one, two here. So there's only one square gap between the numbers if you go diagonally, or we can go one, two here. We can't go here, that's off-grid. We can't go here, that's off-grid. 
So the number three is, let's decide to put it here. Okay? That's number three. Number four, same rows. Vertically, horizontally, you're three squares away from number three. Diagonally, you're two squares away from number three. And then so on and so forth. Until you get to 100. You get to 100, you've done well. Right? During the live streams, previous live streams we've had, we haven't gone into 100 yet. We will at some point. Okay? Maybe this round fun you're definitely welcome to join us on twitch if you want to play this live uh, otherwise i will be recording this with the lapel mic so you get the same sound quality same video quality and we're going to go with the three main types of strategies i'll try to get one of each can't promise but i'll try hopefully we can solve the puzzle one strategy we're going to use we're just going to start random the way we're doing now okay maybe just go all over the board, right? Another strategy we can do, use, is start from the middle, try to get the middles done first and then work our way out. Or we could start on the outside, go around and fill up the outside. Right? Two, three. Try to work our way in. And another strategy that we just learned, for me anyway, during our previous live streams, is break this grid down into quadrants, four quadrants, and try to do each quadrant at a time and move along that way. And that worked out really well. Okay, that was a lot of fun. So we'll try to get a recording of each different style. And if there's any other styles that anybody else comes up with during the live streams, we'll try to record it. Okay, but we'll have at least one of these things up uh, when we're recording with the lapel mic and the HD camera, the sound quality, the video quality that you see right now. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you appreciate how this is done. You can definitely do this, setting up a grid like this using Pythagorean right angle triangles for any type of grid that you want if you want to make sure it's square. Okay. That's it for now. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Bye for now.